Welcome back. Today we're discussing Raleigh tourism. And now let's get you ready for the fall season. We're welcoming back to the show Jessica Holt and Carly Delangowski to discuss events to fill your calendar this fall. Good to see you both. Good to see you again. I see you're the fun pair because you have all the fun stuff that's coming up. Where, where do you want to start? Who I would say go? one of the first thing, you know, coming up really soon um, at the beginning of September is the Hopscotch Music Festival. So something that's been around for years, but really revamped this year with lots of new great artists coming and back to how it was before the pandemic, where you can truly hop from venue to venue. Um, there's about 10 different venues around downtown Raleigh that you can go to. And then that will slowly evolve into the end of September with our International Bluegrass Music Association coming back to town. So lots of bluegrass all downtown the last weekend of September and there'll be um, free concert stages to listen to and you or you can get ticketed reserve seats in the Red Hat Amphitheater to hear those performances. That's a big event yeah. isn't it and a fun one as well. So we got concerts mm -hmm. and we have the things that what, what are some of the concerts I know you touched on the bluegrass but also, uh, we have the Outlaw Music Festival coming mm -hmm. um, to Walnut Creek Amphitheater. So that's going to be an exciting one because Willie Nelson will be here performing. So that one um, happens in October. And so that'll be a fun one for people to check out. Um, and then Red Hat Amphitheater. Oh, we have some shows coming up there. Yes. Red Hat Amphitheater concerts um, will be continuing through September and right into the beginning of October, um, as well as other shows at Walnut Creek. I know in addition to music downtown, for instance, you have a lot of arts and crafts and things like that as well. What's going on? Yeah, so NC Symphony's new season is starting up next month. And then we have some great shows coming up at Raleigh Little Theater and NC Theater as well. And like I said last time I was here, if you haven't made it out to the NC Museum of Art yet, you definitely need to see the People's Collection. So. And sports? Oh, you mentioned oh, see, before. Now we're excited about that. <laughs> I love sports. Sports. Hurricanes. So you mentioned the Hurricanes yeah. earlier. The Hurricanes, their new season starts October 11th. It's the Canes versus Ottawa. And I am so very excited for that. Also, NC State football starts up in September, um, September 9th versus Notre Dame. So. I'll be there as well, tailgating. <laughs> and then this month also, the North Carolina Courage and North Carolina FC soccer teams kicked off their seasons again in August. So mm -hmm. that, that's always a fun one to go out and experience some soccer. And some of the players on the North Carolina Courage were just on the women's international team that competed in the World Cup. So definitely high level of athletes there to watch um, play some soccer. Yeah, we're, we're blessed to be in an area like this. We have a lot of cool sports going on. People like to eat though. Food. Uh, yes. What kind of foodie events do you have? I am so excited for the NC State Fair. <laughs> All the yes. food at the State Fair is amazing. The Dole Whip, my favorite. Um, that is coming up October 12th to the 22nd. If they have tons of great food, they have rides, they have exhibits, they have music. live music. Yep, live music. So that's definitely a can't miss event. And uh, well, festivals. State Fair is a big festival. Mm -hmm. Just local general festivals in the area outside of uh, Raleigh, like in Zebulon and places like that. Anything going on you that you're aware of? Oktoberfest? Oh, Oktoberfest. Yes, that's Thank another you. big mm -hmm. one coming up at Cocoa yeah. Booth Amphitheater in October. It's Triangle Oktoberfest. Um, I'm, it's another big foodie event. There's uh, beer and cheese, my thing. <laughs> but they have wiener dog races. They also have a yodeling contest. It's just going to be such a fun time. I'm excited. Wiener dog race. Right. <laughs> And then a lot of the breweries around town yeah. also do Oktoberfest mm -hmm. events, you know. So really, whichever, you know, we have over 40 breweries in the area now. So whichever town you live in, you can check out your local brewery. And they probably have some kind of Oktoberfest event coming up this fall. I am amazed at how fast that industry has grown. That yeah. little niche is really something in this yes. area. And the other thing I've noticed, in addition to all these fun things to do, is people like to bring their pets so I think last time we talked, yes. somebody was really into the pets. Was it you? I have a dog. Oh, yeah. oh there you <laughs> I go. I take her everywhere. Um, Lafayette Village is having a Petapalooza. It's in October, and it's just really fun little dog festival. There's going to be local vendors. Um, there's going to be dogs for adoption there. It's it's a fun 
little festival to bring your dog to. Now, is there a place where folks can go to, uh, they may be writing this all down, but uh, to check in to see what's going on in the area? Definitely. They can go to visitraleigh.com slash events. That's our full events calendar. So they can search if it's by specific dates or just what's coming up this weekend. And then they can also separate that out to events downtown Raleigh specific or all the way out to, you know, Apex, Zebulon and everything in between. All right. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot. Which one, if you could only choose one, should you go to? You? I'm I'm State Fair. State Fair. <laughs> State Fair. The State Fair. Can't miss it. It's so much fun. I it look is. forward to it every year. Yeah. And for me, as an NC State grad, um, it's actually the North Carolina State football game starting back. So we, our first home game is, is against Notre Dame this season, and that's always just a great time. Terrific. There's a lot going on. Did we miss something? One of my favorite activities for the fall is walking around historic Oakwood. They really decorate for the holiday season. Oh, that is an yeah, awesome Yeah, it's great. Event. Yeah. Um, you can take your dog and walk around. Um, also, the cemetery right there is so beautiful, so I checked that out as well. Hard to compete with wiener dog races, though. <laughs> Agreed. But it is a lot of fun to both of you. Thank you so much for being here. It's always good to see you. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. If you have any questions or you would like to know more, Visit our websites at RaleighCW.com and MyRDCTV.com. I'm Bill LeMay, and thank you for watching Community Matters, and we'll see you next week.